They're supposed to be toys, but airsoft guns are at the center of a controversy brewing in Medical Lake. And KXY4's McKay Allen joins me with why there's a controversy. Yeah, well, uh, let me show you what we're talking about, Dave. These two guns here, they shoot plastic BBs and metal BBs, but they can be pretty powerful, and some say they look like real guns. And when you look at this one especially, yeah. it really is quite difficult to tell the difference between something that's real and something like this that's a toy. Teens buy millions of these airsoft guns every year. We bought a couple today. Now, some of these airsoft guns look like this, pretty real. Others look less real. Now, right now, this doesn't look like a real gun, but in a lot of cases, people will take this orange end off, that just screws right off, and they'll actually spray paint this black. Makes it look a lot more like a real handgun. These are toy guns causing real problems. Medical Lake Friday night, two teenagers in this grocery store parking lot fired their airsoft guns at some other teenagers parked in a car several feet away. No one was hurt, but minutes later the police showed up. The two young men, 117, 118, they were charged with three counts of felony assault. If you take an airsoft pistol and you shoot somebody that, that chooses not to be shot, you've assaulted them. It's as simple as that. Now parents we talk to say these are good kids, just messing around. They look like a real gun. But schools? Because they do look so realistic, they're unlawful to possess on school grounds. And cops? are not messing around with these play guns. We're going to end up killing somebody who displays an airsoft pistol. This is a close-up, but in a split second on a roadside at night, someone may not be able to tell the difference. Pulls that out of the glove box during a traffic stop. Airsoft guns have already been used in armed robberies and road rage incidents. They can fool people. There's not an officer down here who wants to shoot a child mistaking that for a real gun. But by the same token, none of us wants to get shot assuming it's a toy. And even to the untrained eye, looking at this right. weapon right here, I, w I couldn't tell if it was a toy or a forty-five. No, and we're standing right here, and that's the amazing yeah. thing. Now, you may remember a couple of years ago, right here in Spokane, a young man was actually shot by police when they mistook a BB gun he was carrying mm -hmm. for a real handgun. So it's a pretty serious deal, Dave. Very serious, and it's nothing to be playing around with. Right. All right, okay, thanks. Robin?